This episode's FDR shoutout goes to PersonPerson2319. Leave a comment down below. Do you have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode? Make sure you're subscribed. Hey guys, this is my Cresta Gecko Rapashi. She sometimes joins me on my FTRs and other videos. Just if uh, you are new to the channel and checking it out for the first time, don't be alarmed. She is harmless and she is very cute. Well, I shouldn't say harmless. She's actually an evil mastermind. And there's a whole meme around her because nobody in the comment section knows how to spell her name properly. If you go down to the comment section, it's all going to be weird <laughs> ways to spell her name. But of course, my viewers love to troll me and now they're all going to start spelling her name properly. Another reason why her name is a meme is because Rapashi is also the name of the food she eats. I'm filming this a little later today, so I am taking her out, and you can see she's more colored up, and she's also more jumpy and active. Welcome back to another Fish Tank review. Who on earth thought this was even a moderately good idea? Gosh, I hope that's Photoshop, but if it is Photoshop, someone's pretty talented because that looks very realistic. This reminds me of the other FTR that uh, had a betta go up against a snapping turtle and the betta gave the snapping turtle a clean right hook. I was not expecting that. I was expecting the betta to get destroyed, but it seems like this betta is not so lucky. I mean, the size of that, what is that? A perch, a bass? I mean, when they eat something, okay, yeah, it says bass in the bottom. Betta versus bass, guess who's gonna win? It's not a fair fight and it should never happen. A betta and a bass should never be in a tank together. I'm sure for those of you who have seen how a bass eats, it actually creates a suction and sucks all the water around the mouth. It's got a large, large mouth. The size of the mouth on that bass is probably the same if not bigger than the betta alone. It's going to suck the betta up and the last thing it, the betta will see is the throat of that bass. I'm so glad this person who posted on Reddit did not include it as a video because that is the last thing I want to see and I'm sure that's the last thing you guys want to see. And I hope this video has been taken down 20.2k hearts. 20.2k people l enjoy this video. AJ sent in this tank. Now this is a tank that has a lucky beta in it. This is a fully decked out planted tank. You got Anubias, you got Java Fern, and you got some Crips, what looks like, and some carpeting plants on that nutritious substrate. Shortfin beta, my favorite. And this beta has the whole tank to itself. My only critique is this tank might still be a little bit on the smaller side. However, it is a solo beta fish, so props for that. 4.1 out of 5, keep it up. Rapashi's chilling out today. Sometimes if she's acting out too much, if she's too active, I just put her back because I need to focus. This tank is sent in by Albin Winquist. This is not the typical fish tank that I usually go for, but it is a cichlid fish tank that explains why, because I don't really mess with the cichlid species tanks. One question I have for you though, is that enough cichlids to actually disperse the aggression? Because I know for these kind of cichlids, it actually has to be a little bit overcrowded of a tank and you just need to back that up with really, really high quality, good filtration and aeration. And that should be good enough because the aggression levels is a way more important thing to take care of. And I'm not sure if there's necessarily enough of these cichlids to get the pecking order all established and spread out the aggression. So let me know in the comments below if you see this video and if you can. But I do really like the scape of this tank. The backdrop really looks amazing. This is not something I would call a natural scape, but there is debris in nature and this looks like some sort of, actually this looks like a painting that I would put in the living room or the bathroom wall or something like that. It literally looks like a painting, even the bubbles they create this sort of grainy look. It's it's pretty neat. And although the placement of the hardscape is quite haphazard, that's what makes it neat. And that's what makes it unique and natural. But yeah, for some reason, I'm really into this scape. Good job. 4.5 out of 5. Me trying to convince my partner that the 30 new plants I just brought home are necessary. Hey, just show them my channel, okay? As soon as your SO sees some random dude freaking out over plants, they're gonna understand. When I was saying that in my head, I was like, they're not gonna understand. This is, <laughs> that wouldn't work. You should introduce them to a fish keeping discord. Then they'll understand because everyone be freaking out about plants. 
Duck, Aorai from my Discord server. Hardcore guys, man. Can't keep up. Can't keep up. I give up. Shout out to those who have lost loved ones, as in they left yo ass because you kept spending, <laughs> you kept blowing your paychecks on plants. Shout out to those people. Farewell, Jumbie. You had it rough. Holy cow. Don't tell me that's, don't tell me that's the permanent enclosure. Farewell to Jumbie. 12 graceful years. You will be, I'm assuming, missed. Yeah, you had it rough as an understatement. 12 whole years in that? Please don't tell me that was the permanent enclosure. Every time before I complain about something, I'm gonna think about this frog and how it did not complain its whole 12 years of life. So I don't have the right to complain if there's not enough sauce on my pizza. Nothing compared to this guy, okay? This guy's never even had pizza. Can you imagine living your whole life without having pizza? Oh, wow. That actually made me a little more sad than I thought it would make me. It was just a hypothetical, come on, Chris. How we see guppies with pretty colors and long fins. How it affects the way they swim in their genetics. So true, and not just guppies, um, I think this applies more to longfin male betta fish. And this is true, and you see this everywhere in like the pet keeping hobby and people who keep pets, not more so for like the connection or anything, but they find enjoyment in how the pet looks aesthetically. And it's kind of just like a trophy to them. If you can move your tank while it's full of water, it's probably too small. That is actually so true, I haven't thought of it that way. Wow. Okay guys, if the next time you are wondering if your tank is too small, just try to lift it. If it doesn't lift, you're doing it right. If you are completely jacked and super strong and it does lift, I don't know what to say about that. Bought a glass fishbowl at Petco this weekend for my new betta fish. Woke up the next morning and noticed his bowl was leaking. Tried to move the bowl to wipe up the water and the bottom of the bowl just detached. I mean, it saved him like many years. I'm sure if the frog had a chance to die, it probably would have chosen death. But that is such bad quality. I mean, how do you manufacture something like that? How does the bottom of a bowl just break? I love me some turtle soup. Oh, I like how the person posting this picture is trying to sell the fish tank for $15. Is this the best picture to use to sell your fish tank? You're better off getting just a regular breeder tank like photo from Google. Goodness, oh man. Okay, well where are you gonna put the turtles after this? Is it still available? No, the turtles are all dead. Instagram ads, subtle background. Come on Instagram, you can do better than this. Oh, I didn't know Bic makes lighters. I love their pens. I think this is a Bic. Yeah, this is a big pen. This is the pen, this is my daily driver. It's great. I don't use lighters though, I don't smoke and I'm not a pyromaniac anymore. 1.4 gallon tank review I ran into. They rated it five stars. I'm sorry guys, axolotl lovers look away. Goldfish lovers also look away. But I know especially the axolotl lovers are very crazy on how their axolotls are being taken care of and this is like everything that can be broken is broken in this picture. The sides of the tank, probably the substrate, because axolotls like to sip sand, right? That's gravel. They're just gonna choke and die. And the elephant in the room, which are two goldfish, that can't be right. This can't be right. Bashir substrate. Oh man, is this actually becoming a trend? Why does everyone have a Bashir substrate that keeps monster fish? Okay, not everyone, but these dumbass people. Wow, even got an arowana in there. There's too many beautiful fish in this one little fish tank. You know what, to be honest, at first I was looking for the Bashirs. I was like, where are they? I'm like, oh, that, those, those are real. Go fish coming home from the pet store. Was waiting for it, fishbowl, uncycled, rainbow gravel. <laughs> oh, this is a very true meme. They're all ready to destroy that go fish. That go fish has no idea what's coming for it. This tank is sent in by Logan. Very interesting centerpiece. Maybe it's an artificial piece of rock. Hygophila polysperma looking very healthy. You got some javafern windelof, I think, and anubius in the substrate itself. And also some regular javafern. Uh, not the best idea. Their central root system do not like to be buried. Overall, pretty neat scape. I would like to see more hardscape that's natural, like some manzanita or spiderwood. You can replace some of the um, hardscape that you have right now with some dragonstone slash oakostone. Those are always great. Your tank is understocked, which is something that is very good and is quite a big fish tank. So 
Me likey. 3.9 out of 5, keep it up. This tank is sent in by Mike Zhu. Really, really nice idea going on here. You did the rockscape and you've attached and embedded all these floating plants or plants that cannot be planted directly into the substrate onto the rockscape and you've even attached some moss. The moss are not looking too healthy. The plants are also looking like they might be doing a struggle. This might be a new tank setup and plants when being introduced to a new tank, if the parameters are really different from where they came from, where they were used to, it takes a while to get used to, but once they do, these are all species of plants that will really just take off. And I see that your light is not too bright and that's perfect because these plants are definitely not high light output plants. They enjoy a medium to low output and that way you keep algae at bay and you keep them growing as fast as possible. Enjoyable scape, just some fine tuning here and there and cleaning up and also waiting for them to grow in, but it's a respectable scape. 4.1 out of 5, keep it up. Yes, there's live fish in there, confirmed in her comments. I presume her work from home with 25% travel is her essential oils conferences. <laughs> I guess we'll just find out what the heck we're dealing with. I have no idea what this comment is about. Holy crap. I'm I'm all of a sudden kind of scared. This is kind of creepy. And I kind of don't want to read all that. So, I mean, you can pause the video if you want, but I'm, I'm just going to skip over this. Oh god. Speaking of nightmares, this image is so cursed, man. How did the fish get in there? Top 10 mysteries of this world. Hey guys, weird place to end, but we're ending it here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end, staying tuned in. You guys are the real heroes of this channel, pushing this video out towards the algorithm. The algorithm is just like, come here, my baby. Come here, my child. Yes. Now go and become successful. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.